First things first. You and me, we're golden, right? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I think you're a good egg. I think you're a great egg. As long as we stick together, things don't need to go pear-shaped for either of us. You reckon? Oh, you reckon? Oh, yeah, mate, I reckon. Oh, you reckon? Right, thumbs up. So what's the plan? Well, that's something we can talk about when we deal with our other problem. What other problem? I've still got the Skittles on me. So I rock up at our place and there's two uniformed policemen knocking and then Cram opens the door. I wasn't getting out. And then I was like, be the invisible boy. Be the invisible boy. And the invisible boy drove away because, you know, plums. Are you sure that he got pinched? Well, I'm pretty sure. He's not answering his phone. Okay, boys, listen. We went and bought drugs off the net and now Cram's gone and got himself pinched. Did they search the house? And if they do, and if they... <laughs> If they find anything, then well, that, that's it for all of us. Are you there? Nah, Dave. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm coming down. So, my feeling is that we can't put Cram under the bus. Oh. I am, however, considering how I feel about putting Hazy under the bus. Really? What, you'd prefer that it was Cram? Well, nah. I mean, I don't know, maybe. I just think that Hazy has more to gain from the experience. Actually, yeah, definitely. And anyway, he'd come out of way less as far. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. Well, that's bad. What do you mean? It's fallen behind the cabinet. Really? Yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, just give it another go, but this time put your plums into it. Decided to throw Graham under the bus, right? I mean, it's not like Aurelie's thrown anyone under the bus, but if we're going to throw anyone under, we might as well throw the guy that's already been caught. And if he is such a good egg, then I'm sure he'll just throw yourself under anyway, right? Cram is a great yeah, egg. Yeah, Cram is a good, he's a really, really good egg. No one's going to find it. Listen. Mate, there's rent money tied up. I'll pay the rent, no worries, just come on boys, the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> We're thinking about it. That'll be um, your round then, eh Dave? Mate, you haven't even finished your first beer. Can't fly with only one wing, eh, Davey? <laughs> Talks a lot of shit, doesn't he? How'd you Dave? get out of work? Told him I had the runs. Look, at the end of the day, you and me, with the roommates, right? He's gonna crack. What, you reckon he's got the plums for this? You guys were talking about throwing me under the bus. And come off it. I know you were talking about throwing me under the bus earlier. That's Matt's idea. First of all, rude. Second, we've got a gig next weekend. Wait, you guys are playing a gig? I can't afford, babe. That's just it, isn't it, mate? 
A minute ago you offered to pay for our rent. Your mum pays for your rent, mate, and for your phone bill, and for your $500 blender, so your kale smoothies don't go lumpy. Your mum will pay the bail to get you out of jail. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You want to see a good egg? You want to see plums? How about I throw myself under the bus? And you can call my mum and tell her that the son that she raised too soft is in jail. Cool. Now's your opportunity. Yeah, well, I will you butt much. Watch me. I'll just walk over there and, and I'll tell him that I went online and, and I... Do you guys know how the Silk Road works? Come on. He set everything up. Just him. He could be under the bus already and we don't even know it. I wouldn't do that, man. He's too good an egg. Better of an egg than you two farts. Yeah. He's a dead to me. But you were going to show us your plan. G'day, gents. <laughs> Cuz, my houses. Housemates, my cousin.